Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and I'm, I'm introducing myself because I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I really do hope you enjoy my videos. So today I'm actually going to be doing a eyeshadow tutorial and guys, I promise you this is probably not going to be my best because this is my first time recording like an actual eyeshadow tutorial for you guys. So please be patient with me. I am getting a bit better with my eyeshadow as you can see. If you follow me on Instagram you can see the photo that I posted last night. Um, so please just have patience with me. More, The more videos I do on this kind of stuff, the more I am going to get better at it. So I'm just asking for your patience and please don't leave any negative comments down below. Um, if it doesn't come out good as you want it, then I guess it doesn't come out good. Um, but at least I'm trying. I'm just going to put my hair up in this clip to make sure that all of the hair is out of the way so that no foundation gets on my hair. So there you go, you guys. And here I am fooling around. <laughs> so now I'm going to begin to apply this Maybelline Fit Me foundation with my Real Techniques stippling brush. So now I'm just going to put the foundation on my hand and I pick it up with my brush and I start applying it on my cheeks and all over my face. A lot of people actually told me that this foundation wasn't my color but I just think that it was because I put a little bit too much foundation on my hands by mistake in like my previous video. So now I'm just going to take my makeup sponge and blend it all out that way my face doesn't look streaky from the brush because you know sometimes we look a little streaky because of the brush. Now I'm just going to be taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion, you guys. I absolutely love this primer so much because I think that it activates the eyeshadows and makes them look so much more pigmented. It's just an amazing product overall. So now I just lightly tap that all over my eyelid. That way when I apply my eyeshadow, it will be very pigmented and it will last a very, very, very long time. I love this primer so much, you guys. No, this is not a sponsored video. Ever since I've been using it and practicing my eyeshadow, I just love this because it's long-lasting and it makes the eyeshadow very pigmented. So now for my Urban Decay 3 palette that I love as well. This is the best. I'm taking the color Burnout from my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and using that as a transition color. This is just going to make the whole entire look pop out more guys. Because this color is kind of light but it has also like sparkles in it. So it's going to make the whole entire look pop out. It's just going to look amazing. So you guys, here's a quick little tip. When you're doing your transition color, go light hands on it. That way, if you want to build more of the color, you can go and do that, but without it looking sloppy. So make sure you blend that color in very nicely and evenly because you don't want it to look like there's a line of eyeshadow on your eyelid. I think that would be a little weird, you guys. People would probably look at you like you're very strange. <laughs> So here I am just taking the color Trick from the Urban Decay 3 palette, you guys. And I'm tapping that all over my eyelid very lightly. That way I don't have fallout and make a mess. This color actually has sparkles in it. And I just love it because it's what's going to make the eye pop as well as the transition color. So together it just makes that whole eyelid pop, you guys. Just wait and see.
just taking a smudge brush and using that to make an angle that I want my eyeshadow to be. And I'm using the color Black Heart for this, which also has sparkles in it. As you can see, I'm not going all the way into my eye with this color. I'm just going halfway, like the middle part of my eye, because I don't want the whole entire eye to look smoky. <laughs> I'm just blending that out as much as I want so that all the colors can come together and look nice and not look weird, you guys. So just blend as much as you want and make sure all the colors are even. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size two, but I can shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do. Cause I got that boom, boom that all the boys chase and all the right junk and all. Now I just go back into my eyelid with the color Trick because I want the eyelid to pop out with the black eyeshadow as well. At the end, this is going to look so fabulous. So right here, I'm just doing my winged eyeliner. I will have the tutorial link to that in the description box if you guys need help with that. No problem at all. I have a video on it. It'll be linked down in the description box, so make sure to check that out if you do not know how to do wings eyeliner. Here I go concealing my under eyes and other areas. This is the Maybelline 24 hour concealer. I have to admit I'm not really crazy about this concealer too much because it dries just way too fast before I, I even blend it in. I don't even know why. What's up with that? Do you guys feel the same way about it? If you have tried it, let me know. I am now taking my Urban Decay Flush Palette in Streak and using that bronzer only to complement my cheekbones. So right here all I'm doing is applying my powder in Porcelain by Maybelline Fit Me. <laughs> 